Hey guys, William with Shadowtronics here, doing a little bit of a new thing for us here. We're going to do an unboxing video. Just picked up a couple Baofeng UV-5R ham radios. They're 2 meter and 70 centimeter dual band FM radio. And uh, just uh, got them in, so I figured we'd do a uh, unboxing here. Um, came in, I uh, ordered these off of eBay. They come out of Cranberry, New Jersey. Um, I said just got them today, just about 30 minutes ago. So let's get to it here. Um, plain box. Um, just has some a little more information there on the front of the box. All right, box just flips open. user manual which I've heard is really really hard to understand because it is Chinglish Chinese English uh, there's tons of review uh, tons of websites and information that I'll put in the I'll link to in the description to a better user manual etc all right got a plastic insert tray here so I uh, did go with the blue radio. They have them in several different colors. They have them in uh, blue, black, red, yellow. Uh, went with the blue just because I like to be a little different. And I like blue. Blue's my favorite color. All right. You got the radio. Standard battery. Um, one thing I do want to plan on getting with mine is... They make a, K, a battery pack that you can put regular double A's in. And that'll be great for, you know, uh, the Practical Prepper series because bat you can store batteries a long time and you might not be able to recharge these if the power's out. Okay, in the bottom, come with a little headset, which may end up getting turned into a data cable. Or not a data cable, but a uh, link cable to hook to my smartphone. All right, uh, power adapter for the base uh, stand charger, which I really like. The only thing I don't like is there's not a way to charge the battery or use the handset, use the unit without the base station. Um, I would have preferred if it had a way to plug, you know, a, a, a power outlet on the radio itself. Because, you know, you're not going to be, if you're out hiking, you're not going to take the base station with you. So that's where the battery pack that takes regular batteries would come in handy. All right, what do we got here? We got a lanyard strap, the standard rubber duck antenna, and belt clip which actually seems to be pretty sturdy nice made out of metal yeah no. yeah no I'm gonna, I'm gonna use yours in just a second that's my uh for my prepping buddy Anthony check him out his YouTube channel is Anthony Anthony Jordan movies and more. yeah Anthony Jordan movies and more I'll put a link in the description he does a lot of cool movie reviews and uh action figures posters stuff like that and prepping, because like I said we're pre uh, we're going to do this as a partnership. Anyway, there's the uh, the dock charger. Since it is a lithium ion battery, I actually have an idea to uh, for the electronics channel is building a mobile charger for this thing, something that's not this huge. But anyway, um, here's the unit put together. I'll just use Anthony's for a second. Uh, I think that's all is in the box. Let's see. Yep. That's everything that's in the box. Here's the unit put together. As you can see. And we got to get these things programmed up. Uh, we are going to be programming them to work with ham radio with our local repeater. But as we're still working on getting our license, we will not be transmitting. They'll be locked out um, in the software to just allow receive only. 
Um, thanks to everybody over at the Ham Radio Crash Course. I want to give Hosh Nasty a big shout out. Uh, you can check him out. His link, his channel will be in the description. Uh, he's he does a Ham Radio Crash Course series and is live every Friday evening at 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, and give everybody out a uh, shout out on his Discord, the H. Uh, HR ham radio crash HRCC uh, Discord server. Everybody there has been super, super helpful. Chris, Evan, all you guys, uh, Poli, have been doing, uh, been really helping me out and getting me caught up to speed on everything ham radio. So I'll put all the links in the description below. Uh, make sure you go check them out if it's something you're interested in and. Uh, we thank you for your uh, your likes, dislikes, uh, subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay frosty.